Hi and welcome to this lesson. This time we're doing the geometric series. So let's look at an example. A basic example, 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24. Okay, so series, you remember, is when we add up the terms of a sequence. So obviously a geometric series is when we add up the terms of a geometric sequence. So what is a geometric sequence? I'll remind you, it is when we have a constant ratio. So 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So in our geometric sequence, this will be our first term, taking the A variable, and this will be our constant ratio, taking the R variable. And I see it's constant because 12 divided by 6 is also equal to 2, and so is 24 divided by 12. And you'll recall that the general formula, so the general term, Tn term, whatever that one is, is the term Arn minus 1. So this one specifically will be 3 times 2 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, now, what about this series? What if I want to add up the terms? Now, you'll recall that um, notation we use is Sn. Sn is the sum of the first n terms. So term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 all the way up till we get to term n minus 1. That's the second last term. The last term is term n. And let's now go and replace these t's with the actual uh, geometric representation. So the first term would be a. The second term is when I take this a and I multiply it with r once. The third term I've multiplied with r twice. The fourth term with r three times all the way. When I get here, just look what happens. Every time I'm multiplying with one less um, r than the term number. So in the second term, I've multiplied with r once. The third term, twice. So the n minus one term I would have multiplied with r one less time. So instead of just uh, one less than n, it will be two less than n. And the final term, I would have multiplied with r one less times than n, so n minus one. Okay, now ob obviously that's a formula for the sum of the first n terms, but it's a very ugly formula because of this dot, 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 this unknown part in here, because we don't know how many terms there are. So what can we do to eliminate that unknown part? Well, the best way to eliminate stuff is to subtract. But I can't go and subtract Sn from Sn. So I'm going to take Sn and I'm going to multiply it with R first. So if I multiply every term with R, this is what I get. A times R gives me AR. But because I'm going to subtract, I'm going to write it underneath this one. I'm going to write it here, AR. And then I'm going to subtract them and you see it's going to cancel. Okay, then if I take, so that's this term multiplied with r, that term multiplied with r gives me ar squared. This time multiplied with r will give me ar cubed. And remember, here's an ar cubed, we just didn't write it. Okay, so it's also going to subtract. And this is going to go on until we multiply uh, this one with ar, ar to the power of n minus 1. If I multiply with r, I'll have plus 1 in the exponent. So that will become a r n minus 1, which is the same as there. And the last term is if I multiply this one with a r, okay, it will also add 1 to the exponent. So I will have plus a r to the power of n. Okay, now look what's going to happen. I'm going to subtract these two from each other. So if we call this one equation 1, and that one equation 2, and I say, okay, let's take equation 1 minus equation 2. Okay, what will I get? Well, on the left-hand side, I get Sn minus S, uh, Rsn, minus Rsn. On the right-hand side, I've got A minus nothing. Okay, so I just have A. Then I've got this minus that, AR minus AR, that will cancel, that will cancel. This one that's not written will cancel with that one. All the way up, this one, would cancel with the one that is not written here, 
um, and this one a r to the power n minus one will cancel with that a r to the power n minus one and then then there's this one left okay a r to the power n it was there's nothing there it stopped at this term so i've got zero minus that which gives me negative a r to the power of n okay with that in mind we want a formula for sn remember so we want we want to solve sn in this equation and this is how we're going to do it we're going to take it out as a common factor so we're left with one minus r and now on the other side we can take a as a common factor as well just to have it look a little bit pretty okay and then we are going to divide everything with one minus r because i'm trying to solve for sn so divide both sides with a one minus r please note you can't cancel this bracket with this bracket okay they they're not the same value okay the one is to the power n a r to the power n um so this can't simplify any further that cancels but here i go here's my lovely formula s n is equal to a 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r that's a lovely formula for the sum of the first sum of the first in terms of a geometric sequence a series sorry geometric series okay so let's go use it for our above example to calculate the sum of the first 10 terms okay so now above example you'll recall that we had our first term equal to 3 and our constant ratio equal to 2 so here to calculate the sum of the first 10 terms we don't know what it is we know that n is equal to 10 we also know that a is equal to 3 and we know that r is equal to 2 so to substitute into our formula a with 3 r with 2 n with 10 and 1 minus 2 and here we go let's simplify that's 3 1 minus 2 to the power of 10 is 1 0 to 4 Okay, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Okay, so in the numerator, I get negative 1,023. If I multiply that with 3, I get negative 3,069. Divide it by negative 1, so my answer 3069. There we go. That's the sum of the first n 10 terms of the geometric sequence 3 plus 6 plus 12.